fans, young and old, and not so old, have gathered here at Beekman Town Central School. This is the coach's corner. It's a semi-final play in Section 7, Class B. It's the Northeastern Clinton Central School Cougars and the home team, Beekman Town Eagles. We're here at the half, 35 seconds left in the half, in fact. Just finished the county legislature meeting. And got here as quick as we could. It's the 23rd day of February, 2022, day after Tuesday. This is 2-23-22. Yesterday, of course, was that famous 2-22-22. And the score is also in the 20s here. 20 for the home team and 26 for the upset-minded Cougars. Number four seed, Beekman Town. Number five seed, Northeastern, looking to see who can move on to the semifinals. Temperature is 18 degrees, we shut our vehicle off. Temperature is dropping all day. Was, I went to Plattsburgh earlier this, this morning for an 11 a.m. meeting at Clinton Community College. Uh, it was 45 degrees or 41 maybe when I parked my car. And it's been dropping ever since. Cougar ball. It's like three officials out there. Rebound for the Eagles. The Eagles, of course, have those white on white numbers. Van Atten scores. That'll make... Bucky Boyer happy somewhere, wherever he's watching this game. Okay. Rejected. 26-22. And we got uh, Gilbo inbounding. Sorry we missed the first half, but uh, we had to be in Plattsburgh for that meeting, and your second uh, meeting of the month. Air ball, and managing it to bounce it off. A toe was a hustling Evan Manor. Bounced it off a Beekman Town toe. And we got number 15, Keith Parent, coming in. I'm hoping these numbers haven't changed from we looked on the school. Uh, Section seven pages today. Nice pass to Dubois. And Dubois from Gilbo, and it's 28-22, 7-11 to go in the third quarter. We'll give you the rosters as we have them. When uh, time allows, I'm sure there'll be a timeout. Stolen by Gilbo. Up ahead for Garrow. Garrow back to Gilbo. It's it over to Brown. Brown shot is rebounded. Looks like 15. That would be Parent. Luke Connell, the coach for the visitors. Gary Castine, the coach for the Eagles. Looks like Andy Gay over there, Keith Rebidu under the basket. And uh, the Labarge boy, <laughs> whose first name escapes me at the moment. <laughs> we'll think of it before the game's over. Jamie's son. <laughs> James' son, Labarge. Whoop! Oh, that's a foul. That was number three, Mannix. That's his first, team first. 6.15 to go, third quarter. Stolen. That 
was, I think, Parliament with the steal. Again, very difficult to pick up these numbers. Further back you go, a five looks like a three. This is Parliament. A three looks like a five. Nice reverse. That was Bergen, I believe. Josh Bergen steal. And the Cougars get it back. Brown. And look out. Certainly can't accuse either team of not hustling. Both going wall to wall here. Gilbo to inbound. Comes deep for Brown. Brown underhanded, lay up, rolls off the rim, and we're going to have a foul on Gilmo. Be the second team foul on the Cougars. And it'll be uh, his second foul of the game. Again, we're picking up the action here in the third quarter. Garrell up to Dubois. And Daring, Daring, Darren Dubois for the bucket. 30 24. Back to a six point Cougar lead. Four fifty-three to go. Elbow shot. Rebound to Dubois. Goes to Brown. And they call for steps. Manor doing a little shuffle. Twenty-two and eleven. So that would be uh, Wyatt Laborde is eleven twenty-two is Josh Sand. Just a freshman, I believe. I want to thank Greg Myers for uh, his assistance and us being able to get in here with a handy parking spot uh, for our late arrival. Appreciated. Turnover gives it back to the Cougars, Gilball. Slides it over to Dubois. Dubois will take a tray. Kept alive. A Gilbo and Manor battling for it. Dubois picks up the ball. And somebody must have put a lid on that bucket because <laughs> balls just seem to be rolling off of there. Good turnout here. Good turnout for this playoff game. Four oh eight on the clock, third quarter. The ball makes it 31-24. Expected a close battle. Rebound, uh, probably Bergen had the rebound. Now we have a foul. And we're gonna have another foul on the Cougars. So Brown picked up his second foul in that previous foul. This time here, it's gonna be on 34, I believe. That would be uh, Garrow, his first. Team fourth. Three forty-seven. Cougars up thirty-four. Excuse me, thirty-one twenty-four. Seven-point lead. They gained a point here on the Eagles in the third. Elbow shot is back ironed. Uh, 
Stolen away. Thinking that might have been Bergen. With that steal, they had three Cougars there and he managed to find a way to get the ball. Beatman Town coach Gary Castine was on the first Cougar team from 70-71 season. <laughs> they did something to that rim at halftime. I <laughs> we'll have to investigate this, uh, this rim here. Game of bounces. Travel, yep, travel. Muba <laughs> to Garrow, Gilbo underneath, it's off white. Two and a half to go. We got number two reporting in. That's Peyton Vio. And the Brown. Gilbo drives, throws it up and in. Nice shot from a tough angle. And the Cougars are up by nine, 33. 24, we're at 212 now. Levin Laborde, pass underneath. And the Cougars come up with it. Manor gives to Garrow. Garrow to Gilbo. Brown will try another tray off the rim. Stolen back by Brown. Clean blocks. It's off red. This is Mannix. Looks like Ken and Joan Bushy are here enjoying the game. 23 is back in, that's uh, Parliament. Replacing Vio. 126 in the third. Cougars take it away, Gilbo. Up to Garrow, Garrow, slash pass is picked off. Look out. That'll be his third foul called on Brown. That one there could have gone either way. <laughs> Coach Connell thought it should have went the other way. But <laughs> All in the eye of the beholder, and I tell you, either way, he looked, either, either way he called that, I wouldn't have argued with him. Manor gets it. Eagles all over the place on defense. They end up with the ball. Andrew Castine, the assistant coach for Gary Castine. Fifty-one point nine. That's Garrow's second foul. This is uh, Bergen at the line. Over the back, calling me called. I think. That's on. 23 Parliament. 
33-25, remaining. Brown up to Dubois. Dubois takes a jumper. And the lid is still on. <laughs> That's a cougar end, but he had managed seven points this period. And the Eagles have only managed five thus far in the second half. Fourteen on the shot clock. Eighteen on the game clock. He was taken away. Blue ball manages to get the shot off, but again, it rolls off the rim. Can't be saran wrap because uh, some shots have gone in. That's the way it is sometimes. Sometimes you throw something up there and it Player moving, I guess, once he had the ball. I'm not sure what the argument was. Ref Andy Gay over to explain it to Coach Castine. 8.8 .8 left in the quarter. Almost stolen by Garrow. Three seconds. But it counted. So oh, 34 25, the Cougars lead by nine after three here on viewer supported hometown cable. So we'll take the moment to uh, read the uh, Cougar names since we're pointing in that direction. Jordan Brown, two. Sam Prairie, five. Dawson Gay, 13. Austin Dubuque, 20. Lucas Dukeso, 21. Braden Monette, 22. Darren Dubois, 23. Thomas Gilbo, 24. Evan Manor, 33. Stephen Garrow, 34. Aiden Kreller is number 50. Over on the Eagle side, Mark Mosley one, Peyton Vio is two, Brady Mannix three, Andrew Van Atten four, Owen Beebe ten, Wyatt B Laborde is 11, Evan Dixon 12, Keith Parent 15, Riley Siraj is 21, Josh Sand is 22, Nathan Parliament 23, Jack Beauregard is 34, Josh Bergen 35, and Nathan Sand is 42. So the Cougars outscored the Eagles 8-5 in a low-scoring third quarter. Uh, looking at the foul situation, six foul shots on the Cougars, so the Eagles will be shooting uh, one and one on that seventh foul, and uh, and it'll be. Uh, Two shots after 10. Looks like the Eagles wanted a deflection. I'm sure if one of the Cougars had touched it, they would have spoke up and said, oh, it's off me, ref. I'm sure that would have happened, so. His third, team fifth. Ten point lead now to Cougars, 7.33 on the clock. Rebounded by Bergen.
Go, Bo. Over the top, rebounded by Dubois. Shot clock is still ticking, the ball did not hit the rim. Three second violation. And we're gonna get number 42 in for the Eagles, Nathan Sand. And he's replacing uh, Josh Sand. A little sand for sand there. If you sit between them on the bench, you're a sandwich, I guess. And that pass is picked off. Brown. Basket by Parliament. 35, 27, 6, 06 remaining. Five seconds to get it in, comes in to Brown. Dubois trying again, comes up short. Another one that rolls off. Parliament. Another jumper. Six point game. Five and a half to go, a lot of time left for this one. Back outside for Brown. Manor. And Brown hits. Back to a nine point Cougar lead. And we have uh, Keith Parent reporting in for the Eagles. Approaching the five minute mark. I'm sure there are a lot of people watching this live on the NFHS, and uh, I'm not a subscriber, so I never start to see what their pixel art cameras look like, but some people posted some videos recently. <laughs> and um, they do give a pretty good picture, considering it's robotic. I'm sure they miss some stuff, but uh, they do provide a pretty good picture in their pixel art. Off the rim again, rebound Dubois. Off white. Parent reports in. 32 on the shot clock. Bill Boulder inbound. It's at the Brown. Four minutes and 12 seconds to go in the fourth quarter. Dubois. Shot by Garrow. Good hustle. Garrow scores. We'll give Manor some credit in saving that for the Cougars. 11 point lead Cougars. We're in the second half of the fourth quarter. Time is getting short for Beekman Town. Time out for the Eagles. Only one foul call thus far in the fourth quarter. Darrell, and Gilbo into the forecourt. Parliament, 
manages to knock it off. Yobo. Eagles will get it back with 334 showing. Four four. Yarrow puts it back to Gilbo. Eagles in a tight man-to-man -man defense. Dubois off the rim. Cougars take it away. Manor knocked it loose. Gilbo picked it up. <coughs> Brown has it. 25 on the shot clock. 2.40. Eight to go in the fourth. 11 point Cougar lead. Eagles take it away. Eagles take it back. Brown knocked it loose. <coughs> New shot clock. Two and a half to go in the game. Then Atten with the foul. Mannix will come in. Places Labor. This will be the sixth foul on Vickman Town. Gilmo, another steal. Passed up to Brown, can't get it to fall. Dubois will wisely bring it out. Gilbo will shoot. Fouls on Mannix, his third. Team seventh. Apparently it was a one and one, but <laughs> none of the rebounders realized it. Or they knew he was going to make it. 15 point lead now with 153 to go. Make it 16. Inbounds. For three. 45 32. Minute 25 to go. to a minute 20. Manor will shoot. Seven thirty-two, fifteen point Cougar lead. Off the rim, rebound. Mano. Foul stops the clock. Another one and one. One oh five to go. Thirty-five with the foul. That's Bergen. His first. Team ninth. The 
This is a one and one. He's blow out with the rebound. Carroll stepped on the line, a two pointer. Eagles call a timeout. The Cougars have built up a 17 point lead. Now it's going Beatman down 15 to 7 thus far in the fourth quarter. To take a 49 32 lead with 54 and a half to go. Mannix to inbound it. Into Van Atten. Van Atten a senior. Saros is a senior. Uh, the only senior is listed on the Beatman Town program. So they'll be back. Minus those two players. The three. Put up and go in. That was Bergen. Cougars may or may not take a final shot. The uh, shot clock is about a half a second uh, faster than the game clock. Nine seconds to go. Six. Forty-nine, thirty-two. I was looking at the clock, and the <laughs> camera zoomed in at the floor. Forty-nine, thirty-two. The Cougars with a mild upset with the victory, but a seventeen-point win, defeating the home team. So they'll advance to the semifinals. The Eagles will call it a season. So thanks for watching and supporting viewer-supported local television, hometown cable. Win, lose, or draw. TV worthy of your support. Thank you for watching.